In this video, we're going to take a look at the finishing filters. So here on this leg, I have this metal material and it's modulated by some roughness and a few scratches. And so now I'm going to apply a finishing filter to this metal surface just to quickly add some extra details and further improve this material. So with the base metal layer selected, I'm going to come over here to my effects. I'm going to add a filter. And here I'll click the filter button and you'll notice that we have these new finished filters. Now these filters are designed to be used on a metal surface and we have several you can choose from. So in this case, I'm going to utilize this finish rough. So I'll select it and it's applied here to the metal. And so here I can just move my light and you can see that it just adds an extra layer of details very quickly. And this finish filter is actually a substance, so we have some parameters that we can work with. So for instance, we can adjust the scale. So here I'll just increase the scale just a bit. I can actually enable triplanar mapping to this filter, so you will not get any seams with this effect on your mesh. Here I'll just increase the brush intensity and scale the grunge. So here's the overall effect that I get, and we'll just take a look at this. And so the finish filters can help you to quickly create more realistic and nice looking metal surfaces.